Okay, in a moment we're going to look at that 50 inch TV. I put a brand new um, set of strips in it and they failed after two minutes. Yeah. This is quite funny because the last time I spoke I was finishing off a cup of coffee and here I am late in the evening. What time is it? It's only 10 to 8, but it feels late. And the clocks go back this weekend, so it's going to be feeling even later. But I am finishing off uh, a cup of coffee. OK, this is a message for... I've got a couple of unfinished jobs this week and lots of questions I need answering. Because, um, uh, as you know, I'd, I'd like to think I know my way around just about every TV. There's, there's an answer somewhere, somehow. Um, but computers, I don't care about. I don't understand. I don't really know. Um, do you remember we repaired this Philips TV? I say we. I always include you. Thank you very much. And and I was confused because it was this is classed as a 1080p monitor, um, and all the um, all the gubbings you will find on it gubbings, of course, being a technical term, will say it's a 1080p monitor. And of course, if I press the button, and I can't remember which button it is now, I'm going to go for that one. No, let me go for that one. I told you it was this one. <laughs> is it this one? Yes, okay. <laughs> so I showed you that on Wednesday night, I think it was, Tuesday night or Wednesday night when I repaired this, and I said, look, it's 4K. But then when I plug this HDMI into it, all of a sudden it says 1080p. And if you go to my computer settings, this is a question for computer experts everywhere. I think I know what the answer is, but um, of course I would say that because I'm a man. If you look at my settings there, under where it says 100% recommended, it does say that the display resolution is 1920 by 1080. I can't go any higher than that with this TV. I just can't. And that's exactly what this monitor is saying. Once again, if I press the details. So let's bring in this HDMI lead. Um, I'm sure you know the way my settings are by now. My graphics card has got four HDMIs out. Um, so let's just say for argument's sake, one, two, three, four. They're all 4K monitors apart from this one, which makes absolute sense because it's a 1080p. But every time you see me use this, this is just um, connected to this screen. So whatever this screen is showing, this HDMI is showing, so if I take the HDMI out of here, which I will show you. Bing. So that's the HDMI taken out of there. Let me put my test HDMI in. And it'll give us exactly the same picture as I said, if you remember. So I said it's a duplicate of this one here. And there we go, duplicate of that one there. But what does it now say? Oh, you missed it, it's just gone off. But now it says, I hope you can see that. Now it says it's 4K. So what does Windows say that it is? Because Windows said it was 1080p earlier. Um, well, I'm sure as you can see, Windows now says it's 4K. When I put a genuine 4K TV here, they're always 4K on that old HDMI lead. So I've had four 4K pictures, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, sorry. Um, but this is now saying it's 4K, and you can tell that it is 4K because there's um, 
Um, there is a difference in the bottom graphic, for want of a better word. Um, I'm going to take my test lead out, because I'll probably need it in a second for something, and I will put the other HDMI in, which is here, so it will go back to 1080p. Yeah, it does, and it says 1080p at the bottom. And you notice the graphic at the bottom when that disappears. Well, it, it's quite bigger, and I can't knock it down anymore. I'm, I'm at 100%. That's the lowest it will go. So, somehow, I... Well, somehow, this is telling the TV that it's receiving a 4K picture. I don't necessarily know and I can't tell because I think the background pictures that Windows uses are probably only a good 1080p anyway. I think so, I don't know. But they don't look any better or any worse on any of the other monitors I've got. So anyway, I just suddenly thought I'd share that with you just in case computer experts can say, hey, could, well, I'm beginning to think that maybe one of those HDMI leads is 1080p maximum only, but that's not the case. It doesn't work that way. And when I had the LG TV plugged in there, that was a 4K picture, so I don't know. But this TV shouldn't even be saying that it's... Oh, well, it's gone back to 1080 now, sorry. But, of course, before, it shouldn't even be saying that it's a 4K picture. Um, I'm sure some... Brainiac, who's into Windows 11 and graphics cards, got the answer somewhere. But just to let you know, so that now says it's full HD, as you'd expect it to be. But if I plug this HDMI into it, it goes 4K. Or does it? Mm-hmm. Over to you. I like these little mysteries. They keep me awake at night. A bit like the adult channel. Uh, and talking of mysteries, let me just put this camera back. Talking of mysteries, let's rip this thing to bits. Thank you very much for everybody in the comments that said I didn't smash the screen. Well, I say everybody. Two. <laughs> Thanks to two people that had faith in me. Um, this is the 50-inch TV that I put a brand new set of edge-lit lights in. Does that make sense? Edge-lit lights in. And it was looking really good because this, uh, there was not much burn-up. 1% burn-up, if that, on the bottom. So it looked like this was going to be a great picture. I put two brand new strips in. And we noticed two faults. Two disasters, as I called it. I think disaster is a... As, is a bit of um, um, uh, an incorrect term to use. You know, if you're living in Ukraine at the moment, life is a disaster. If your TV has failed, it's not a disaster. So, um, but anyway, I called it that in the, um, in the thumbnail. Um, but two things happened. One, we noticed the screen had cracked. And it must have been something I had done because it was a fresh crack because it's got much worse over the last... Well, it got much worse about half an hour later. So um, I have to take responsibility for that crack. Something that I did somehow, somewhere, um, as happens in this business, um, it had cracked. But worse than that, half of the backlights that, I don't, that were only, what, five minutes old? Not even that. Five minutes old, half of them packed up. Luckily, these are the sort of TVs that come on Marketplace all the time. So, um, not really bothered about the screen. I can find another one for tuppence. It may take a month, it may take six months, but I will find one. Um, the other thing I will just show you quickly to prove that it was my error that cracked this screen. I don't know if you can see... But if you follow that crack, um, I'll turn off this light, it may help. So if you follow that crack, it goes to just there. And I think I must have caught it on the side of that. So I think it was 
somewhere around there I didn't have the screen in correctly um, when it should have been pushed down a little bit I think so I can only blame myself for that one so I'm thinking it's about there but let's plug it in and see you're seeing it do a lot of flickering at the moment but there you go now it's doing its slow flicker but this side is still dead and it's got nothing to do Okay, that's weird. Well, ain't that strange? I'll show you in a second. Do you remember when, if you didn't see when we were doing this on Tuesday or Wednesday, you will know I'd got two sets. One set had got a broken socket off it, which I thought was very strange. Um, I'm going to bring this camera over. I can switch them off for a second. Just in, ca just in case this flickering thing annoys you. But let me bring the camera over. Because something has happened. And maybe you can see it. I'll bring you in a bit closer and zoom down. Oh my God. Something has happened on more than one. How on earth is that? How? Have you seen it? Have you seen this? There, there, and there. The LEDs are falling off. The LEDs have fallen off. And obviously, I'm going to switch it back on again now, so I apologise if this flickering annoys you. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's going to be eight. So, yeah, that one is stopping that eight from working. Uh, and that one there and that one there is stopping the further. That is just, what I mean, where are they? These were, wor if you remember when we tested them, they worked. There's one. I can see one. It's, be it's behind you. Look. It's there. But there's going to be another two somewhere. What crappy process have they used? I'm just going to switch off again. Let's just try and prise off some others. I've never seen this before. This has never happened before, but. Obviously. They've started to fall off. They haven't been forced off. I mean, I'm trying to force that one off here and I'm putting quite a bit of force on it. It's not coming off. That just must have, this must be a really bad batch because as I say, on the others, I have got one more to stick on. So let me stick it in. 
So the new one on the right-hand side is stuck in. I mean, how long is this one going to last? Well, how long is a piece of string? I mean, they're supposed to last for years, but I really have got no idea what could have caused those LEDs to fall off. I mean, if there's any pressure put on the LEDs there, the pressure's put on the screen. Uh, and that's not where the screen originally cracked. The crack was from the top. So, um, don't know. It's a bit of a mystery. And um, obviously you're seeing it flicker again, but on the right hand side, it's now um, working. But, <laughs> you know, how long for? I don't know. But um, let's put the sheets back on. Okay, unfortunately you can't tell, but both sides are now lit up. <laughs> How long for? We don't know, because these backlights are absolutely atrocious, but they're done. Um, all I need now is to find the screen. Obviously I'll put the rest back together, um, but I'll possibly do that tomorrow, to be honest with you, because it's quite late on a Friday night. And I've got some other things that I'm going to do, but... The reason it failed was obviously um, that blumming, well, three LEDs dropped off. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I may never see it again, but that is weird. But all I need to do now is um, get a screen. Um, I'll just show you the model number just in case people that watch this have got um, one with a burnt up prism sheet. So this is the model number. It's a UE50 NU, um, uh, well, 7020, but any um, UE50 NU beginning with a 7 will have the same panel, same screen. It'll have a different mainboard, but it will de definitely have the same um, backlights. So um, if you come across one, if you've got one lying under your bed, let me know. And then it um, doesn't matter if it's got a burnt up prism sheet because this one is as good as they get. It's a shame that the screen cracked, but these things happen. You never know. We may find one. I'm sure we will one day. And then we'll fit the screen and get this working again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your help. Have a nice weekend. Speak to you soon.